Hey everybody, it's Missy Wolf, and we're back at CRS 50 with Zach Stone, and it's Valentine's up, Day, and I'm it lucky because he's spending part of it with me. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm good. I'm gonna Thank eat you. one of these Kit Kats. You later. need to because I might eat one now. the more artists <laughs> come in and take the candy, the less I take home and put on my thighs. <laughs> See? Like that? Yeah, right. Like, <laughs> yeah, I might as well just tape them on. That's where they're gonna go. Tape them on. I mean, that is where they're gonna go. Anyway, um, so you have some new music, I do. and I love it. So oh, thank you. tell me about what's been going on with you, Mr. Busy well, Man. I, everyone's saying I'm so busy, and I'm like, man, I, I want to be more busy. You did three shows yesterday. I, well, yeah, like, it was fun though. I know. It was so fun. But I'm like, I did three shows yesterday, and the whole time I was like, man, I, I, I should be doing interviews. <laughs> <laughs> But and now today, I'm like, man, I wish I was playing some shows today. Right? I know. Like, you, you're you doing it all. Well, thanks. You're doing it all. And we love watching it. But honestly, you do have a ton of energy. And I could use a little bit more of it today. <laughs> um, so so we're, I mean, how do you find the energy to do three shows in, in a day? Um, well, I tell, I don't drink coffee. I don't like coffee. And I don't drink coffee. And okay. I, always, I always make the comment. I say, when I wake up in the morning, I don't need coffee. Coffee needs me. Like, oh yes, like, okay. I'm All right. I'm not a morning person, but once I get up, yeah. I want to do stuff. I was always yeah. the kid that was like, let's go outside, let's yes. play basketball, let's throw the baseball around. Yeah. Like that was my parents would be like, what do you want to do tonight? And when most kids were like, I want to play video games, I was like, right. let's go play kickball. Yeah, right. And my parents were like, we got yeah. three people. How are we gonna go play kickball? And I was like, we'll figure it out. Like, yeah, so exactly. That's but that's just me, I guess. That drive, though, that, I mean, it's a great characteristic about you. That's amazing. Oh, thank you. And not enough people have that. And honestly, I mean, I'm more of a morning person than a night person because yeah. I like to fall asleep early. But I, I'm the same way. And when I was a kid, I had to get up and do stuff. And I was bebopping around. My mom hated it. She was yeah. like, let me yeah. sleep in until 10 a.m. Don't talk to me until 10 a.m. Yeah. And I've had five pots of coffee, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but but I, I do like the coffee, though. And this morning, yes. this morning I failed, you guys. It's America's number one drug. I, it is. And I left my coffee in the car and my sweet wonderful husband behind the camera had to go back down to the car to go get it for me Because I was having a temper tantrum up here <laughs> and I was like, I cannot interview these people without it But let's talk about your new music and your video. And okay, stuff. What, great. What, and I'm gonna eat a Kit Kat bar while we do I love that you are I'm not gonna eat one because I won't stop. They're like Pringles for me <laughs> can't, I can't, I can't Won't you pop the right. fun don't stop. <laughs> right. I remember those commercials. I know. Oh my gosh I miss a lot of that, but sorry and lonely. Let's let, let Yes, I know. I'm, I'm so proud of this song. I'm That's to you. okay. I'm so sorry. This is every waiter's worst nightmare. Right. Um, I I love this song. This is one of those songs that I, I tell people. You know, when you're creative, anybody, if you whether you you know do woodworking at home mm -hmm. or you know even if you just like do something out of necessity, if you have to build a fence, right. you know, if because yours fell down, if you have to remodel your kitchen because yours you know was in a fire, I don't know. Right, like, right. you know, anytime you finish making something and you look at it, you're like, ah. Oh, like that's that's what I wanted that's what this song was for me this was such a cool to sit down and have the idea uh, you know I found myself I was looking back on uh, just a time in my life where I was really searching for affirmation from people specifically from women from girls and just the idea of like man if I could just get this girl to text me back or if I could right. just if this girl would just talk to me for five minutes at this bar or something yeah. like I would feel better about myself right. and uh, I was I was watching this moment in Nashville and I remembered that and as I was looking out at this at this bar room of people I was like these are all the same people they're all the same characters yeah and I was like man I might as well have been introducing myself back then as hi I'm sorry or I'm lonely and you're gonna be sorry right and I was like <laughs> what you know like yeah. that's because that's the only reason I'm here is because I'm lonely and uh, uh, I thought well that's kind of cool what if you know he was sorry and she's lonely and that's the only reason they really coexist right. yeah. and they will forever coexist when as those characters yeah. um, just they will survive as other people and I just thought that was such a cool idea and so I geeked out over it and <laughs> uh, wrote this song and I was like that's what I wanted to say and how I wanted to say it yeah. and I was like nobody's gonna like this but I, I think it's cool right. and then everybody was like hey we like this and I was like you guys <laughs> right I'm so glad so it's been a, really fun that's such a great feeling but an even better feeling fans at home if you have not seen Zach Stone perform live oh you have gosh. to you are so much fun <laughs> and I I don't get to go out as much as I would like to you know because I live kind of far from downtown but whenever I get to come out and I know that you're performing I'm like we have to go see him because he's amazing and I love y'all are so sweet everybody that we we interview we build relationships with and you are one of those people who immediately let us into your life and 
I just, I can't thank you enough for letting us be a part of, of your journey because it's been so much fun to watch you and you really are a positive, upbeat guy, but you're not afraid to share what's going on with oh. your fans. And I love that about you. Well, that's, you know, that's why we're here. That's why I feel like I'm here is, you know, to reach out and talk to the people. You know, you guys, you guys go through stuff. I go through stuff. Yep. And I just want to try and relate and tell, tell our story as, as human beings, you know, um, and uh, try to find a way to help everyone get through what they're going through and what right. I'm going through. And you also just had a birthday, didn't you? I did, yes. Did. 13 days ago. I know. <laughs> I know. I saw your birthday picture on social media and it was, yes. it was so cute, so much fun. So what do you have planned for this next year? Like, what is your ultimate goal for the next uh, year? My ultimate goal for the next year, uh, sell out Bridgestone. Um, nice. That <laughs> that's the big amazing. arena in Nashville, right. for those of you playing at home. Yeah. Um, wow. For this year, I, w we are really working radio hard right now. And so I'm s really looking forward to the radio tour that we're about to do. Uh, go back out and do a bunch of things like this. Yes. Because uh, I love doing this. So that'll be a lot of fun. And uh, I'm looking forward to the shows. I, everything that we've done this year has just been getting bigger. You yes. know, it's uh, every musician in Nashville always uses the phrase big things coming. And yeah. uh, I, I, I always thought that was kind of tacky and like, <laughs> you know, just so cliche. Right. But uh, that's what this year has felt like. It's mm -hmm. just felt like, wow, like things are moving up. Uh, you know, I'm meeting these people and right. we're doing these things and we go to the shows and there's more people there than there were last time. And we, right. you know, and I'm writing with somebody and the songs are better than they were last time and right. stuff. And it's just like, oh, my gosh, everything's getting better. I love that. And it's that. so exciting. Now, do you ever take that moment to see where you are now and then you rewind back to what you did in the very beginning and think yes. wow I have really grown yeah I found some old I found some old DVDs of uh, like some of my first shows back in Texas mm -hmm. and was just watching them like oh you idiot like, <laughs> what are you doing no don't do that stop Zach stop doing that right don't, like <laughs> I, I I did rewatch one of my interviews from early on and yeah I can't go back to that interview ever again <laughs> because I remember thinking, oh, this this should not have ever been published. Like, what was right. I thinking even publishing this what interview? What was I doing? I was so What's horrible. Wrong? Like, how this poor girl, like, <laughs> I can't believe she sat there and took this abuse. Like, no, but seriously, it's so much fun when you get to go back and see how much you've grown. Oh, and, yeah. And for us being able to watch you on your journey, it's been great. So if there's anything you could tell fans right now, what would it be? If there was anything I could tell fans right now, it would be that this beautiful woman right here and the beautiful man behind the camera are married and that is super <laughs> exciting. And I hope that they know that because if they don't oh, know that, they should you. because thank these you. are beautiful people. Um, but other than that, I guess you probably wanted me to say something more selfish. So no, I'll try well, to do yeah, that too. Yeah, that would, I um, had no idea you were going to Go watch the Sorry and Lonely music video. It's on YouTube and it is probably... The, I've probably never been more proud of a project that I've worked on and I just am so excited to share it with you guys. So please go check out the Sorry and Lonely music video on YouTube. You heard him, so go do it. Until next time, we'll see you soon. Love y'all. Thank you everyone for tuning into our coverage of CRS 50. Special thanks to the Cosmo Cowgirl for the fun wardrobe she provided. For more clothes, you can find them at facebook.com slash the Cosmo Cowgirl. You are going to love them. Be sure to check out facebook.com slash Center Stage Mag every Monday at 4 p.m. Central for Center Stage Live at the 615 Hideaway, where we bring you live music and fun interviews. For more artist coverage, please check us out at centerstagemag.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media at the following links.